This British man showed no emotion as he was sentenced to two life prison terms for killing his wife and nine-month-old baby. A consecutive sentence would be purely symbolic. For that reason, I am imposing concurrent sentences for the murders of Rachel and Lillian at Whistle. That means that the defendant will serve, the actual sentence that the defendant will serve will be for both murders. Neil Entwistle was convicted Wednesday of shooting his wife Rachel and their baby Lillian inside their rented Massachusetts home. He fled to his native England the day after the killings. Neil, you have been judged today by a jury of your peers on earth, but one day you will face the ultimate judgment of your horrific deeds and betrayals. Suffering does not begin to describe what we have been enduring without our beloved Rachel and Lillian, who gave our lives such purpose and meaning. I have lost two generations of my family. Prosecutors said Entwistle was despondent over mounting debt and dissatisfied over his sex life. But Entwistle claimed his wife killed the baby and then committed suicide as they cuddled in bed. Rachel's family called the murder-suicide theory low and despicable. But Entwistle's family and attorney maintain he's innocent. We've encouraged him to be optimistic about the results of appeal and so that he can expect to have his freedom back. Entwistle was also convicted of two weapons charges for using his father-in-law's gun in the killings. The judge sentenced him to 10 years probation on those charges with the condition he couldn't profit in any way from the sale of his story. John Groundwater, The Associated Press.